and welcome to a Halloween video and today I'm going to be talking about my ghost story. Um, well I've actually got two ghost stories and the other one is more frightening than the other one but they're both still like ghostly goings on kind of thing. So yeah let's get down to the ghost story. So it happened about seven or eight years ago and I was living at my other house and I'm a keen builder of like making stuff out of cardboard and bits and pieces when I was young and I saw this like, I don't know how to say it, it was like a mist but a foggy mist and it was like a vape kind of smoke and it was like a quite roundish like egg shape kind of thing like it was smoke and it's quite hard to like tell you what it is because it was like there and then it was gone but it wasn't that kind of like oh look it's a ghost and it's gone but I thought it was like um, scooting along or whatever and I thought it was a bit different because um, about two years before that um, we needed to put our dog down and it was a quite strange experience because we put the dog down and then I saw this like apparition kind of thing and it was quite scary because I was building something in my bedroom and I saw it going past my door and it was really strange and then I saw it, I saw it went into my mum's bedroom and then it came out and it disappeared so I thought what is that, that's quite creepy and then I didn't see or hear anything from that day until now but nothing has really like spooky happened since we've like moved house or whatever but I can actually vivid that day and I think it was a Saturday and nobody was home except me and oh just give me the creeps really because that was my first like ghost sighting of like a spirit animal I'd say so yeah quite creepy and then moving on forward a couple more years when I started urban exploring um, I firstly met up with Shawnee Explores and we went to this abandoned house and then he got the thrill of like exploring abandoned buildings because I started about four months before I met him and I was like going, oh yeah I know all these places, you want to meet up with me, I've got loads of places and stuff and then that's when our friendship started going and the second time I met Sean um, I was talking to him and I said to him oh I got a um, information that some mental asylum is open and we could easily go there if you want and at that time he was working and he would only need to meet me at like night time and we met up about half past ten I suppose I think it was and I think it was a weekday and we drove all the way from my hometown to this mental asylum and it was the very first time that he went into a mental asylum and I saw on his face that he was quite, what's the word, shitting himself really because I took him to a house and then the next time I'm going to meet him I'm going to take him to a mental asylum. You're not going to get that in like two days or whatever and he was quite amazed that he actually went to a mental asylum at the first or second time of visiting an abandoned building and then we was, um, I suppose not a lot of people were like this but he wanted to do a Ouija board and I thought oh that's not going to work really, that's like a gobbledygook and I thought that's not going to work and he said to me um, a couple of days before we went to the mental asylum oh would you mind if we do a Ouija board because I want to see if it works or what I said yeah if you want to I don't mind I don't think it's going to work or whatever because I don't really believe that kind of stuff but my god that day 
changed our spirit world to the max, I'd say, because we put it on a small little table in the corner of the room and we were the only two people there at night time and I was kind of like excited but kind of like still shitting myself because I don't really know what's going to happen because it's one of those times of me meeting him and he's only met me the second time going and he thought I was actually playing him because when we was moving the um, Ouija board Panjet round to start the um, circle opening um, we stopped and then it was moving and I was going mm, I don't really know if you're doing this or I'm doing this but he was thinking the same thing as that and then I said out loud um, if you're here make yourself known by a tapping sound scratching sounds a bang or a screech or whatever and then nothing happened and then we had the plan jet on the table with nothing happening down there and Sean and I were like just looking at each other just taking photos and then I was like tapping Sean on the shoulder like quite I suppose punching him really and then we heard like these like scratching noises and it was like um, a really old, well, I suppose I can't say old really because it could be a young person, but the person who was making the scratching sounds must have had incredible long fingernails because you know when you scratch wood and you hear that like, like that kind of noise, it was like that, but it was so vivid and the noise where it was coming from, it was coming right underneath my feet and I thought there must be an animal and then Sean put his camera down the hole and a light and there was nothing down there and then he brought it back up and the noises started again and I thought no this is something like bloody wrong this has and then we were just standing there and then it was getting louder and louder and very violent, violently as well. And I thought, now nah, this is getting something bad, this is. And then we thought, we went to the um, Ouija board and we said goodbye. And then the scratching stopped. And that was the most terrifying night of my entire life of doing a Ouija board and hearing strange noises in a mental asylum. And if you know the mental asylum I'm talking about, some big YouTuber went there and he f heard some people screaming and I don't really know if that's true or not but my god my visit of that evening or that night time changed my look to the paranormal very strangely because I've never heard anything like that since when I went to that mental asylum and that was scary and oh my god that was creepy as hell so yeah if you've had any like paranormal like experiences or you've seen a ghost or orb or whatever um, put them down in the comments down below and I will answer your questions and yeah, hopefully I'm not going to find any more ghosts while I'm going in around abandoned buildings because I want to keep myself safe and not get possessed. Um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a gruesome thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I will see you in another video soon. Over and out. Bye. Hello people and thank you for watching my video. And if you'd like to turn the bell on for notifications so you won't need to miss any videos which I upload. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And also don't forget to follow me on my social medias. The links will be in the description down below. You can follow me on my Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. And also thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you in another video. Over and out. Bye.